What's going on guys? Shane here. So my fight's in a couple of days. I'm doing a tournament, a three-day tournament. I gotta get down to 132 and I have to stay at 132 because I weigh in every day. So here's another healthy recipe that I love doing. Everybody loves Chipotle, so I'm making my own homemade vegetarian Chipotle bowl. You can add chicken, beef, whatever protein that you want. I got some frozen peppers here, just mixed peppers. You can do fresh as well. Grilled them up. I got brown rice, just plain brown rice here. All right, cook that up. Over here I just got canned beans, pinto beans, you can do black beans. Again, just microwave those. I'm gonna put all that together and we'll come over here and then just some toppings. Instead of sour cream, we got Chobani Greek yogurt. Got some salsa, yeah, Italian sodium, but just do a little bit of salsa, add a great flavor to it. And then you just got avocados mashed up to make a, a guacamole. Um, you can add some salt to that. Again, we got some pretty high sodium in here, but great fats, lots of protein. This is gonna be awesome. Let's take a look at the finished product. Start the bottom with some rice, put our veggies in there. Some protein in the beans here. Again, pinto, you can do black. Put some guacamole, get those healthy fats in there. Very high in fat, so you don't want to eat too much avocado. Add some Greek yogurt, non-fat, 0%, and top it off with some salsa. There you go. And guys, also remember that serving size is key too. Half a cup of rice, you know, a little bit of vegetables, a little bit of beans, not too much avocado, not too much anything, all right? Serving size is key, portion control. You wanna make sure that you're eating so that you're satisfying your hunger so that you're getting enough calories, enough energy, but you don't wanna eat too much, overfill, because then it's, it's gonna sit in your stomach, it's gonna turn to fat. All right guys, so thanks for watching. Uh, look forward to my fight. I'm gonna kill it this time, I promise you. I promise all the underdogs out there. So until next time, make sure you subscribe so you can get the fight tips before your opponent does. I'm Shane with Fight Tips, self-defense for the underdogs. My name is Shane Faison. In May of 2010, I traveled to Bangkok, Thailand for my first international pro Muay Thai fight. And this is my fight story. So round one began, and as most Muay Thai matches go, it was pretty slow. I noticed he was, he was very evasive, like I couldn't catch him with a lot of my punches, a lot of my kicks. He would attack me in flurries, you know, he would come rushing in with punches, with kicks, and overwhelm me. I think, I think he knew I was a little hesitant. And then he starts to rush me, he starts to, you know, come at me with another barrage of punches and kicks. So I, stay, I keep my cool, I, I take a couple steps back, and I see him miss with a punch, and his back exposed, so I go to counter with this big hook, and BOOM! I'm on the ground. 